I'm Justin Hinton at Worry Studios, where families can learn all about the new digital SAT here in person or online. Gone are the days when students filled out scantrons for standardized testing. Spring 2024 will mark the first time students across the country will take a digital SAT. And Clark High School graduate Sean Patel wants want everyone to, to be prepared. Invite He's inviting you to a digital SAT workshop digital and book SAT launch where you can join the faces on the screen or attend in person. I'll try to talk to as many people as I can about test preparation college admissions scholarships. And he knows a few things about these tests. After all, he got a perfect score nation. when he took it. So Sharks, who's ready to score big off my perfect score? Wow, that's impressive. He even Thank managed you. to convince well, Mark Cuban to become an investor in his company, The Prep the Expert, when he appeared on Shark Tank. Now you're no. going 300. Okay. All right, I take your offer, Mark. We're done. Uh -huh. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate it. it. Everyone thinks, oh, the paper-based SAT is now just going to be on a computer. Not true. The whole format is changing. There's no new, unique question types. It's going adaptive. It's also getting cut down from three hours to two, and we'll have less than 100 questions. So I think it's going to be a much easier student-friendly exam than new digital SAT, but it doesn't mean that it's easy. To add to that, a number of colleges have reinstated standardized testing requirements. MIT, Dartmouth, Yale. Yale just did it. The yeah, other Yale day. just did yeah. it the other day. Exactly. So you've been watching the news. You I mean, are I'm the kind news. of a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, that's the biggest takeaway. These exams are super important. One reason he's also launching his new book at the event, giving you and your students the tools they need to ace the test. In Las Vegas, I'm Justin Hinton.